Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Five minutes later, possibly 10 at a push. These things continue on both sides and we close down on our target, the green topped lighthouse. There's the red one over there or the orange one. And of course, won't be able to climb up there because it's a still functioning lighthouse, all padlocked up as I suspected, but we can get up close, but just not too personal and see what's at the end. More blocks of concrete to try and fend off the raging sea. There's the sister lighthouse across the river mouth. And then back. This is the way we came. Good God, I wonder how many of these things there are, how much they cost and how long it took to put them all in place. No more or you'll get struck by lightning. Well, we won't be having lunch up there. I won't be uh, having my little pasty snack. I'll have it on the go walking instead. Time to head back. And here we are in the Old Town Square, I guess. You'd kind of call it that. They're preparing for a music event this evening, it seems. There are a few cafes, restaurants, that type of establishment. A library over there. And a whacking great big church here. So we've come away from the beach, obviously. And come back to the center of well what's it, it what has always been the center of Ventspils according to those maps we saw in the castle museum it's always been a little place and so you shouldn't expect to see a, magnif a magnificent central square of course that would be out of keeping with everything else that we know. Still nice. And what have we got peeping around the corner just here? Something weird, something cow, something groovy. It's a wind up. A wind up? Hmm. A wind up rock? A wind up cow is that Ugh. Baltic sculpture I will never get to the bottom of it as you've seen so far everything is low-key even 
on a sunny day like today and I suspect even if you were here well if you were here in July or August you would probably discover that there were even less people because probably they've gone on holiday somewhere else but a nice place to come and relax and see some alternative things and we've still got the seaside open-air museum park however you want to describe it to come later don't get too excited you've got to be here that's what i would say there are other attractions in Bent Spills actually, one of which is a year-round ski slope. What happened was the mayor some years ago, some years ago, as in more than 10 years ago, made an initiative to pile up all the landfill garbage stuff, things that were destined to be buried underground, not very ecologically sound is it mind you the alternative may not be either he thought it would be a good attraction for the town to build a huge mound of landfill materials cover it over and turn it into a year-round ski slope attraction possibility not unique i think they've done something very similar outside of um, Tallinn center up in Estonia but it could be that they did it first here in Ventspils who knows who did it first but it was good to hear that a mayor actually did something and was proactive in doing something positive this place I would suggest if you're looking for something to eat and drink in the evening and you're staying in the centre of Ventspils the grill pub is probably where you might want to end up because yeah very very limited in terms of evening entertainment unless of course you find there's a special concert going on back in that market square and if there is then let your ears follow the music now what i want to do is go and film get another cow I've seen another one. I'm trying not to get too obsessive about these cows, but I'm sure everybody does the same if they're a tourist. Come to Ventspils, and if you haven't come for the cows specifically, then you see one or two, then three, and you think, hmm, how many more? Oh, I want to collect them all. All good, clean fun, it costs nothing. Why not? Especially as at the same time as you're roaming around keeping your eyes peeled for cows, you're getting some exercise, staying healthy and making use of the day, getting out in the sunshine and it's a whole lot better than being stuck in your hotel room faced with video editing for example, or answering work emails. Okay, it's red man, you know what that means? we can't cross oh but it's green man this way so it means we can cross Carla Ayala Carla Street so let's do that because I now notice that the cow I saw before is actually on an island so it's an elusive cow let's see how close we can get Oh, there you go. According to this public information, yeah, it does look like it's coming up for three and it's 15.5 degrees. <laughs> okay, I'll believe that. Feels about right. I think this cow is covered in light bulbs. So at night time, if the light bulbs work, you'll get the pleasure of seeing the cow all lit up. But I wonder if that's really much of a pleasure. Who can say? If you're staying in the centre at night time, you can have the pleasure of discovering that for yourself. Now then, oh, I can cross here because 
no fear of getting run down. And head on down here. This is sort of the shopping street, I guess. Seems that way for me anyway. And I'm sure quite a few locals think of it as that, even though as we saw yesterday when I popped into that big Rimi hypermarket, um, there are some larger scale shopping malls in Bent's Pills. Okie dokie, I'll get back to you when the next cow shows up. I'm being lazy across the road. I'm not going to bother getting any closer because it doesn't get that any more interesting really. But there's the Freegate or Frigate Fountain. Very pretty having all the water displayed, but having all those would-be masts doesn't really work, does it? Perhaps at night time, with some extra lighting, it creates more of an atmosphere. I think the hull of the ship is missing from what might be an improved version. Behind there's the concert hall Latvia. No doubt various performances take place there. And oh, there are two little girls bouncing away. <laughs> hearing some music in their heads no doubt a feature of central vents bills as is this reminder of the winter olympics the sun's out the flowers are out i think the whole thing becomes a flower fest at some part of the year and here we have another little bobsleigh which kids can jump in and play and pretend that one day they're going to represent Latvia or maybe who knows they will perhaps plenty of people have there could be a reputation for vent spills to provide members of the Latvian team at the Winter Olympics don't know that just about covers the center as I don't see any more cows Although I do see more flowers and I'm going over here now anyway because I see a flower clock display so might as well snap that. The Freegate Fountain. Freegate Fountain, does it get any more appealing? Close up to these flowers? You tell me. Looks like somebody has gone the extra mile. Whoever's responsible for this clock display, I take my hat off to them. Look at that. The clock, don't expect it to be correct. It obviously isn't 10 past two, but uh, that isn't what's important, is it? It's the fact that it looks appealing and it's got novelty value. And as tourists, we can hardly ask for any more, can we? Nice. I have been on the hoof for about six hours myself. No sign of mad cow's disease. Symptoms haven't begun anyway, not just yet. And here is venta i wonder if venta actually means cow i've got to google this and find out what the mystery of the attraction for cows that vent spills has would venta river cow river would that make sense vent spills cows castle when it was a convent castle built initially in the 13th century for nuns? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not feeling it somehow, but gotta look everywhere. There's no end to these cows. There might be an end to this video though. I think I've just about covered 
the main attractions of the riverside and giving you a glimpse of the small centre of the town so I think I'll wind things up and get ready for the long walk back to the hotel by the time I've stopped in to uh, pick up some food along the way I guess I'll be back to the hotel closer to five than to four but we'll see until next time